Jacquees is in the building. How thoughtful of you. Uh, he is here to talk all about the album that dropped just today, plus a documentary that we're very excited to chat with him about. And he's gonna perform for us. He's really, he's bringing the holiday spirit. And I'm not even gonna make you wait. Please welcome the multi-talented singer, songwriter, and king of R&B, Jacquees. <laughs> What up, Kenny? How are you? What's going on, dude? Good How to you? see you, man. What it Congratulations. Do? What it do? What it do? What it do? This man has an album out today. Yes, yes, yes. Go get it. How's it feel, dude? Having out a huge week leading up to it, but like today, what are the, the vibes, the feelings? It feels crazy, man, to be in front of the fans, to be here with y'all. It's a dream come true. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Now, uh, I want to talk to you about the title of this, Sincerely mm -hmm. For You. Now, who is the you in that title? The you is everybody that's here. You, everybody. <laughs> Now uh, it's your third album, and uh, you know you've been you've been on such an incredible run here in your career. I'm curious, you know, uh, what makes this special? Because you've been hyping up this album for fans of Jacquees. Uh, you know, we've been following along. Right. Why is this one particularly special for you? Well, this one's special because it's been three years since I dropped the album. You know, and the last album I dropped was King of R&B, all the controversy, everything. So I knew, like, man, when I come back, I gotta come strong. Mm. And I feel like I delivered this time. What y'all think? Um, I want to talk to you about the city of Atlanta because I feel like that's almost a character on the record between Future EP and it, which I'll ask you about in a second. And then also you got songs in here with Summer Walker and then Black, of course. Yeah. Um, well, talk to me just about how important that city is to your art and your music. Man, Atlanta is everything. Uh, that's why I came up. That's where I'm from, born and raised. Um, it's in me. You know, when you're from Atlanta, it's just, to me, it's something different. You know, it's just like that Southern draw, that Southern thing, like we got that hustle. Of course, they got that hustle in New York too. But in that South in Atlanta, it's like, man, we just, we just dream so big and just go so hard. You know what I'm saying? All of us kind of like from the same place. Me and Future from the same side of town. I know him since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So just watching him, it was inspiring. So, you know, it just make you go harder. There's so many talented people in Atlanta. There's no way that you can't be inspired by the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and there's such rich tradition. You know, do yeah. you feel that you, even when you were getting into the game, did you feel there was something to live up to? You know, going back to Jermaine or Usher, just, you know, T.I. Like, I feel like every generation has an Atlanta sound. Right. I mean, I never put pressure on myself. That's the thing. All I do is just try to make the music and put it out and hopefully the fans gravitate to it. I feel like right now where I am, Atlanta's standing behind me. You know, I was just thinking about it the other day. I'm like the only R&B dude in Atlanta going right now. So to me, that's major because there's so many rappers in there. You just got Jacquees over there doing his R&B thing. In your own you know lane, man, holding exactly. it down. Um, I want to talk about another guy that definitely, uh, you know, created his own lane and mm -hmm. his own sound and a groundbreaking guy in the future. He right. executive produced the project. Mm -hmm. Why was he somebody top of mind that you wanted to specifically EP the project? Well, it's Future, you know, he's he's the wizard. But I didn't even try to get Future the executive producer. It was actually his idea. I seen Future in the studio in Miami and I was getting ready to drop an, another album. It was called Panties Thrown on the Floor. And uh, Future seen me and he was like, let's let's do something different. Like, I feel like I could executive produce your whole album. And he told me that last year and here we are today. So that was a blessing. Big shout out to my brother Pluto, because that was magic. What would you say he brings out of you that's maybe a little different than, you know, other EPs you've worked with or just producers in general? Uh, what Future bring out of me is, I think, more character and swag. You know, he all about sauce. And he know what to say in a different way that I didn't, so he kind of put me down, taught me some. That's what he bring out of me. He bring out the best in me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love working with him because it's so, it's so, it's just crazy. Like, to be in the studio with Future, I tell people all the time, he's one of the most talented artists. You know, not just saying that because I came up with him and all this stuff like that. It's like, seriously, like the melodies, everything is just, it's amazing. Like these records we created, crazy. Timeless, man. Yeah. Uh, talk, to about, uh, talk to me and us about the doc, because there's actually yeah. like a doc that goes along with uh, the album. It's entitled the same name. Well, Sincerely For You documentary, that's going to come out 2023. Y'all will get to see me since I was nine years old all the way to this point. I've been videoing myself since I was a kid. So I'm excited about that because I feel like people need to get to know me. I feel like early on in my career when I was coming up, I was showing people a lot of my personality, giving them me, and I feel like I kind of I kind of left it and focused on the music instead of the person too. You know, to be a star, it gotta be everything. So I wanna let everybody back into my life, back into my world, and just, you know, show them who Jacquees really is. 